Assalamualaikum and hi students. I hope all of you are doing well. Okay, so unit four animals. Today we are going to learn about the dentition of animals and the changes in the animals' eating habits. Okay, so let's start our lesson. Look at the teeth of all these animals. Why do they differ in shape? All animals have teeth that suit the types of food they eat. Carnivores like eagles, tigers, snakes and lions, they have sharper canines than other animals. They have sharp canines to tear meat. Okay, herbivores. They have strong incisors to cut plants and they also have big molars to grind plants for easier swallowing. Examples of herbivores are rabbit, giraffe and goat. And then the last one, omnivores. They have all the three types of teeth just like us human okay they have incisors to cut food they have canines to tear meat and they have molars to grind food okay example of omnivores are chicken and also bear if animals had teeth that did not suit their eating habits what would happen to these animals? Okay, observe the situations below. Here we have a goat and also lion. They have teeth that did not suit their eating habit. Okay, this goat have uh, all the sharp canines and the lion has incisor. So, it's difficult for them to eat because they do not have the suitable teeth that suit their eating habit. Okay, and then, let's look at this omnivores. My teeth can tear this fish easily, but my teeth can cut this banana. Okay, the omnivores supposed to have the incisors, canines, and also molars to help them in their eating habit. Changes in the animal's eating habits. Bears are naturally omnivores that eat plants and other animals. However, polar bears have changed their eating habits. Polar bears are classified as carnivores because they eat other animals only. They live in the polar regions which are always cold and covered in ice. They cannot find plants because plants cannot grow in the polar regions. Therefore, polar bears eat other animals only. Okay? The animals will change their eating habits in order for them to survive or in order for them to adapt in their surrounding, okay? Untuk menyesuaikan diri dengan keadaan sekeliling, dia akan makan makanan yang ada. Okay, now in your activity book, we are going to do page 42 until 44. Page 42. Okay, identifying animal teeth match the animal with its correct dentition. Okay, you just need uh, to match the animals with their correct teeth. Kena padankan haiwan-haiwan ini dengan gigi yang betul. Okay, now let's check your answers. Ok, 
Okay, so now page 43. Let's check your answers. Number one. The goat is a herbivore. The goat has incisors that are used to cut its food and molars that grind its food. Number two. The monkey is an omnivore. The monkey has three types of teeth. Incisors are used to cut food. Molars are used to grind food and canines to tear food. And the last one, number three, the tiger is a carnivore. The tiger has canines that are used to tear food. Okay, so fill in the blank with the correct answers. The correct answers in the yellow color, green color, and also the blue color. Okay, page 44. Change in my eating habits. Answer all the questions. Okay, number one. What is the natural eating habit of bears? And then number two, what is the eating habit of polar bears and why? And number three, predict what would happen to animals if there is not enough food in their surroundings. Okay, so you need to take one correct answer. Okay, so let's check your answers. For number one, the natural eating habit of bears are omnivores. Number two, the eating habit of polar bears are carnivores. It is because they eat other animals only, okay? Because the polar bears live in the polar region and there is no plants there. Okay, number three. The correct answer is, animals would eat other types of food. So, we have completed all the subtopics in Unit 4. So, what you need to do now is animal teeth hand puppet. Okay, so the steps are here. Make an animal teeth hand puppet using a manila cardboard. Watercolors, a paintbrush, adhesive tape, marker pens, and scissors. Okay. Um, besides this, you can also use any other materials that you think is suitable for you to make the hang puppet. Okay. Just choose one. Whether you want to make the carnivore's teeth, the herbivore's teeth, or the omnivore's teeth. Okay. So just choose one and make a hand puppet of these animals. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.